to Barclays Premier League live. There's going to be a fan park over two days at Zoo Lake in Johannesburg. Former Liverpool striker Robbie Fowler, Chelsea captain Marcel Deceli will be coming from the UK joining local legends Mark Fish, Lucas Odebe as well as Phil Missinga. So we've got Lucas in studio. He said that it was great to actually finally lift the Barclays <laughs> Premier League trophy because that's also been in the country. <laughs> yes, I think uh, this is a great opportunity you know, for all the fans, you know, to actually get closer, you know, uh, to, to, the, to the most prized asset, you know, all those players in the league who are strutting their stuff, you know, week, week in and week out, you know, just to get their hands on that, that big prize. It's, uh, it's here, it's in this country, and, and it's free as well, you know, uh, and the venue is Zoo Lake, so which is going to be a, a great event in for, for both days, Saturday and Sunday. All right, so why exactly have they decided to bring this trophy to South Africa and have this major big fan park, which is going to have 24,000 fans coming to watch, you know, some English Premier League games uh, live you know, and as free? You, yeah, and uh, as you know that uh, uh, Butler's Premier League is the most entertaining league and the most watched in Africa. I mean, we've got a, uh, the most viewership you know, in Africa than all over the world. And I think Barclays Premier League, uh, they brought this trophy to show their appreciation, you know, to thank all those who, who, who are supporting their teams, you know, week in, week out. Was, you know, there's a lot of people who, who, t who, who put their money, you know, betting or who put their money traveling to go and watch uh, their favorite teams, you know, uh, in England. And, and, you know, for them to have the trophy here, you know, whether young or old, you know, it's a great opportunity, you know, for them just to get close to it. And as well, I mean, as you said, I mean, Robbie Fowler, you know, one of the legends, the Liverpool legends, Marcel Desai, the winning, uh, the, the World Cup winning uh, uh, captain, you know, he, he'll be here with, I mean, Fischer, you know, as you know, that, uh, you know, why, there's no dull moment when he's around <laughs> and uh, Phil and... Uh, and myself, and it's going to be a great, you know, you, you'll have the opportunity as well, you know, to show your skills, you know, at the event, uh, which there's going to be loads and watch uh, uh, some of the, the, the premiership games that will be live on, on the big screen on the, on the day, which is going to be entertaining. Okay, now, there's, there's no doubt about the reach of the English League. It goes to over 200 territories around the world. And I want to know, because yeah. you have had the privilege of playing here in South Africa as well as in England. What can the PSL learn from some of the things that the English Premier League have really gotten right and to allow them to have the kind of reach that they've had? Yeah. I think most of the things they do, uh, it's, it's, it's all about the quality. The quality of, of, uh, of uh, uh, the fans, the quality of, of, of the players. Uh, and as well, you know, how they show and the entertainment uh, value that they get, you know, uh, from the TV and, and stuff like that, which is, which is amazing because you could see even the fans, they get, you know, once they're watching the games, you know, they're part, they part of not, only, not only watching it, but they're part of, of the game. That's, that makes it very uh, uh, entertaining. So you think that, like, when it comes to Premier League soccer, we actually need to start filling out stadiums, not just for the derby? Exactly. I mean, families go to the to, to the stadiums. You know, they start at a young age. You know, when I when I used to play, I used to meet friends that, you know, that they told me that their grand grandfathers they've occupied the seat and then you know, <laughs> so so they've been it's been passed over. You know, to to the other gen to the old generation, which is which is brilliant. And I think if we follow that uh, back home and we make sure that our football, you know, it's commercially or we can take it to the people, you know, I think we'll, I don't know if we will we'll reach that level, but I think we'll get to the level where, uh, because at the moment, this is the, our, our premiership here back home is the best in Africa. Yeah. So to get to that level, you know, we're going to have to, to work hard and I think it's not possible. You don't think it's possible? No, no, it is possible. I mean, uh, with the money that will be generated into the game, you know, with the promoting and and, and as well, I think they should take the game, you know, to the people. You know, things like what the, the Barclays is doing, taking, bringing the trophy to the, to the supporters, I think that will be done in South Africa in, in the coming years, which, which that will actually 
multiply, you know, the supporters, you know, of, 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 of the teams, uh, you know, not only Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs, but the other teams as well. I want to bring up something because it's, it's something that a lot of people speak about in England now. Yeah. Part of the fact that the English Premier League has the kind of reach that it does is because of the amount of foreigners that play in the league. Yes, yes. But those English pundits say that that's part of the reason why the England national team are not necessarily doing so well. Because with the amount of foreigners that are playing in their top mm. flight football, they are denying some of the English uh, players the opportunity now people bringing up that argument here in South Africa saying that we should be limiting the amount of foreigners what's your take on foreigners playing in a domestic league yeah but it's all about the quality that you bring in you know that will actually enhance the game because if you look at the premiership I think that's why the premiership was viewed all over uh, especially in Africa they had the most viewership in Africa because of the quality that came from, from Africa and ply their trade you know, in, 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 the, in, in the most uh, entertaining league, which is, is, which is the Barclays Premier League. And that's, that's what grabbed you know, uh, the, the focus of, 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 of the fans here. And back here in South Africa, if we do the same, because we, go, we have to be very careful, because I think England suffered that issue as well, where there were a lot of teams like us now come the weekend and you just count on one team how many the English players in the yeah. playing that you know there'll be very few because when it comes to a national team you need the best players and you need the best players from the big teams so if they're not a lot of them so you're going to be struggle but in South Africa that's why we have to be careful the, yeah. we have to be careful we bring the best the people that will take the game to the next level but not a lot because when it comes to a national team we struggle to find the best players in different, in key positions, and uh, which, which I think, that's what you know what made our football uh, 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 fizzle down a bit. Which, which is, which is worrying, but surely I think that could be sorted out. All right, it can be sorted out. Any problem can be sorted out with the Any right problem. information. Thank you very much, yeah. Lucas Udebe. I'm sure that you and I can chat a whole lot longer about who will take the league, Chelsea or Manchester City, but we have to leave it here, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, it was a great game last night, but uh, I'll still say it's Mourinho. <laughs> I'll still say Mourinho. <laughs> 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 All right, so that it. is Lucas Odebe's choice. He says it's Chelsea to take uh, this season's English Premier League. That's how uh, we conclude this interview. Do stay.